How your emotions influence reality. So does anybody see a problem with that statement or is it just me? Well, if you do, then drop a comment in the comment section below. If not, then listen up because we're gonna dive a bit deeper into it for you. So what we have is we have a situation whereby your emotions are classified as something separate from yourself. And when we have a look at emotions in the grand scheme of things, basically these are just an expression of feelings that are also yours, but obviously the feeling is internal, whereas the external then becomes the expression of the feeling through the emotion. And then when we have a look at it, how it influences reality, it doesn't actually influence reality. What it does is it creates your reality from the state of your feeling and then that feeling then gets expressed outwardly through the emotion to then complete the picture that then becomes what your experience is so when we have a look at the fact that well are your emotions then we're not really in the right place we're kind of getting to the position whereby we have to understand that we are energy in motion and because we are energy in motion then we become what we experience. And then you have a look back at the philosophy that's as within, so without. So how you feel internally and who you are internally from a place of all of your conditioning, your habits, your patterns and behaviors, you'll then gather relevant experiences in the external environment that show you that either there's work to be done or everything's aligned and everything's beneficial for you. And therefore you can just carry on as you are and as intended. But when we have external feedback that contradicts that, we have to know exactly who we are in order to then know who we're not and when we know who we're not, we can then start going back to the fact of, well, how are we feeling? And then we correct that internal process in order to then get ourselves into a position whereby we're then expressing ourselves into the external environment in order to then not influence it, but to have a feedback system and a feedback mechanism that then allows us then to interact with that scenario in order to correct and balance anything that's out of balance and needs therefore healing in order to come back to the true self. And then because we're then acting as our true authentic self, we can then gather further experiences for growth and personal development rather than being in a position whereby we think that because of how we're emotionally involved, that's going to then give us a certain influence of our reality for us then to be victim within rather than being in control or in charge of our own destiny. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.